This poem is called Gloria Evaluates the New Desert. The new desert is way better than the old one. Better for touching, better for singing, more profitable for metal detectors, and also wider in terms of its size. The old desert is nothing compared to this, just some stupid footprints. I love the new desert so much, I am pouring eight pounds of sand on my face. I fucking hate the old desert, which was always judging me and acting like it was a congressional aide or some shit. The new desert magnetizes blood. The new desert bangs me like a man. This is called Aqualung. What I like likes me back. I like the sky and information. I walk around. Everything bounces off the world and sticks to me, and it is called a system. A symptom of I am about to be shot is the red light on my chest, or else I am going to be mentioned in a short presentation on love and deep misgivings like the time I was exploring the pink coral reef. My body slipped out and stood beside me. We could not see each other and assembled our new visions into one. The world was different because it looked different, and it still likes us, but we don't like it back. This is called The Small Husband. If you want to talk to your husband, and your husband is very small, you lie down on the floor, and the floor is cold, but you warm it, and you look at the wall, where it meets the floor. You are five to eight inches from the wall, and there are no other noises. Traffic everywhere has stopped for the holiday, but the parade does not come by for another couple of hours, and you are neither hungry nor too full and your body is a long silk bag full of lightweight batteries arranged on the floor so it touches the floor in the maximum number of places. And math has real world value, it turns out, which is not all that surprising. And there are weekends and desires gestating in your throat, pink and hairless like mammals. And you close your eyes and say things to your husband, but he is small. No, make him even smaller. Cheers. <clears throat> this poem is called Zombie Problems. And the title is a ripoff from my friend Stuart Stone, who wrote a play, no, a musical, called Vampire Problems. Anyway. I am very successful. I am in some kind of field. I like it here all the time swaying. My friend Deirdre came by with an outfit. Try it on, she said. I always listen when people start talking. The shirt was beautiful, pale blue, too large. My head could barely surpass it. So my friend Deirdre brandished her little scissors. She said, we can just make a few eye holes. Deirdre, no, I said. Stop. You are killing me. Poem ending with some advice. I want to live in the rectangle. It lights me up, I swear. It is the nothing I have never seen before. Reject this weather, I said to myself, and figuratively fucked it out of existence. Thank you for coming. I am happy to see you. It is nice to see you from across the prophylactic lake. Here is my advice. If you want to make a commercial about two tortoises with internet trouble, their house should be a one-story ranch. If you want people to, you know, believe you. <laughs> a glass of salt water. When one boat overtakes another on television, I bet there is somebody watching. And also there is another person steering the first boat, and I'll let you fill in the rest.
The ocean is already full, but people keep adding to it anyway, the way you might to a painting. It needs a little more flair. People take sardines out of the ocean, but are not above returning them in cans that can't see us, so far as we know. No one should put me in charge of a boat or regatta. I fear that my world might tip over. You must always leave a tip, even if the service is awful. She could be in the midst of some crisis, or she could be your mother. Acorn duly crushed. Dear stupid forest. Dear totally brain dead forest. Dear beautiful, ugly, stupid forest full of nightingales, why won't you shut up? <laughs> what do you want from me? A train is too expensive. A clerk will fall asleep. Dear bitchy, stupendous forest, trade seats with me. Now it is your birthday. Congrats. Someone will probably slap you about the face and ears. Indulgent municipal forest. Forest of scarves and of beards. Dear, rapid, bloodless forest, you are talking all the time. You are not pithy. You are like 8,000 swans. Dear, nasty, pregnant forest, you are so hot. You are environmentally significant. Men love to hang themselves from your standard old growth trees. Don't look at me. You are the one with the ancient noble terror. Bad forest, forest with important gangs of leaves. Dear naive forest, what won't you be admitting? Blunt international forest, forest of bees and of hair. You should come back to my house. We can bag drugs all night. You can tell me about your new windows, how they are just now beginning to sprout. Today I saw a plant. It was a normal plant, next to swans that are alive. I am trying to be hopeful. I am being very large. Everybody thinks it feels like a Tuesday. It's only the world that is wrong. All the light bulbs gave up. We could count them. I got sad when we threw them away. Give me a chance a big, friendly, galloping, large one. I'm no biologist, but I know what I like, and I know how to follow it home. <laughs>